Nemso Indian Defense, Hubner, Rubenstein Variation, 5, CXD46.X4D5. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of White in that game. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well fought middle game that Black got the better of. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. c5 attacks the d4 pawn defends the bishop on b4 and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c-pawn. Ne2 develops the knight to where it can recapture on c3 and avoid doubled pawns, but at the cost of blocking in the light squared bishop. Cxd4 captures the d4-pawn and attacks the knight on c3 and the pawn on e3. x4 recaptures the pawn and controls the e5 and c5 squares. As it moves into the center, d5 engages the c4 pawn in combat. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now in a secure position. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. It is the final book action. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This protects the attacked knight. It is good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This enables the adversary to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. 
it is best. Black was formerly in a better position, but today white is the victor. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This wins a knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an imprisoned knight. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Backs off. It's compelled. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This evades the check from the bishop. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of white in that game. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. This wins a knight. This is the start of the end game and black is winning. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. Black got the better of white in that game. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of.